You're watching the American Athletic Conference on ESPN. Spectrum Stadium, the setting, beautiful Orlando, Florida. They love their nights. UCF in the rankings for the first time since 2013. They look to remain perfect against the governors of Auburn. Open field behind him, and I think that may have been what happened on that play. He stays on his feet this time, untouched over the left side, and the Knights are on the board here in Orlando. Matthew Wright adds the point after Taj McGowan with his seventh rushing touchdown of the year. One of the keys when you're on the goal line is getting movement, and you get movement by being the first to make contact. Offensive linemen have to basically get on their fours, meaning all four, two hands down, and bear crawl into the end zone. If you can do that, you can uproot defenders and push them back. That's what you saw on that play. On that replay, you saw a lot of flat backs pushing guys in the red and white backwards. Taj McGowan able to find the end zone early. He had scored a touchdown in the first five games. He did not find pay dirt last week in the road win at Navy, but he is in here for UCF. And the Knights with a 7-0 lead as they drive down the field on Austin P. And remember, the big play was that fourth down conversion. Checked in as the quarterback as they try to move this talented D-line. Craig will hand it off. Second effort by Tanner into the end zone for the touchdown. Ahmad Tanner and Will Healy and these Govs believing early. Logan Birchfield adds the point after. Yards after contact, the key stat for Austin P. It's Ahmad Tanner and the Govs punching in the equalizer. And you see it right there. You want to keep this high scoring UCF offense off of the field as much as possible. After a pooch kick the first time, they will send it to Hughes, and he is in the open. See you later. They're not going to catch him. Did we say explosion? Bang, UCF. He has been such a playmaker in his limited time on campus here at UCF. Remember, 12 of 12. In that first quarter, they go to the ground with some power football, and McGowan stretching ahead. Touchdown, UCF. McGowan has number two. Five for the Knights. They take advantage of the return by Hughes on the punt. Matthew Wright with the point after, and there's been a lot to clap about when watching. On first and goal, it's Tanner straight up the gut, diving ahead, second and third effort. Ball might have popped out late. They're going to say just shy of the goal line, second and goal for the Governors. Boy, a real lengthy discussion there was... The side judge rushing in, say, just shy of the goal line, and then the other came in indicating a late touchdown, and now the discussion ensues with our crew here tonight. And regardless if it's a touchdown or not, I'm impressed by this Austin P offensive line and the offense as a whole to line up on the five-yard line and run it straight at this UCF defense, no fear whatsoever from this ball club. After review, the runner was not down. The ball was fumbled into the end zone, recovered by the offensive lineman. The result of the play is a touchdown. Ryan Rock and Sue, sleep well tonight, buddy. You got your six and a big smile from Will Healy. So and you see the UCF fans are shocked right now about what's happening against their defense. A 74-yard screen to Moore set it all up, and the point after is blocked. 
Birchfield has the kick block. Will Healy in this offense trying to keep up with UCF. Knights lead it by eight early in the second quarter. Six of eight on the season. Officially 20 yards, kick on the way, and it is good. It's a moral victory. Second down and 11. They'll run the jet sweep, trying to get to the outside for the first time. The ball is loose, picked up by Griffin, and he will go in for the UCF six. It was Jasinski's hit who jarred the ball free in the opportunistic Shaquem Griffin. He's climbing to escape and get to the second level. Will Healy needs six, not three. Easy decision here. Oates bold to throw. Back foot toward the front of the end zone. Tipped in the air and caught. Are you kidding me? Touchdown, Governors. Oh, my. Pruitt, number 18 underneath. But Pruitt ended up making the play anyway. Johnny on the spot. I'll tell you what, boy. <laughs> The balls have went the way of this Austin P ball club this afternoon. Some tip balls. I tell you what, they are a game team. They came here to. Second down and goal. They will stay with the quarterback keeper. Milton for the first time using his feet. Touchdown, Knights. minutes off the clock and UCF is put up 38 in this first half. We shouldn't be surprised. Guys. Well, the tool of this that you get from those guys, you, 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 you can't pay for that. <laughs> On the return, slipping three goes Moore. Kyron Moore, a foot race to the 30. He's not going to get caught this time. Touchdown, no flags, 85 yards. <laughs> I tell you what, man, this team. Center, unbalanced left for this two-point conversion. They run to the boundary side, trouble with the pitch, and then trouble with Burkett. And the two-pointer is. With not a lot of time left on the clock, you've got to get every yard that you can on every play. Again, the RPO, and he floats, and it's intercepted. An ill-advised pass, Titus Davis, the pick, looking for that second defensive score. A flag thrown, Davis marks shy of the goal line. Five penalties, 51 yards, Milton looking to take a shot, floats back of the end zone, double coverage. Snelson ends up with it, but was he inbound? No. They say out of bounds as he took that ball, went up and robbed it from two. And that, Sean, may be the turning point of this ball game. What a... F makes them pay. Kick up, it's through for Matthew Wright. Wright, Smith on man coverage to the top. That's where they're going. They loft it to Smith, who goes up. The elevation and the touchdown. Traycon Smith. UCF a strong start in this second half. They force a three and out, and they get it to a familiar target. Traquan Smith continues to work his way up in the UCF record books. His 18th career touchdown, UCF with their largest lead. Here comes a blitz. They pick it up. Oats ball floats, and it's nearly intercepted and then caught. Touchdown, Moore! <laughs> the second deflection for six tonight by Austin P. There is no quit with her 42 yard line. Three receivers set, and Milton's going to throw. Fires off his back foot. Downfield, Snelson catches it for the touchdown. Number two tonight for Dredrick Snelson. The touch by Milton. And this offense just keeps going. What a night for Milton. Two more touchdown. Check that three touchdown. They keep it tight in as the H-back spot for blocking. Second and goal. 
and it will be Richardson tumbling his way, barreling through that right side, and UCF lighting up the scoreboard here at Spectrum tonight. The second string looking just as efficient. McCann moving forward to next week's game at SMU. On the zone, Reed Vedral bursts through a tiny crack, and he's into the end zone for the touchdown. His second touchdown of the season, and the names that Vedral has been instrumental in orchestrating. Remember this last drive, aided by the, of the conference title, the division part. So there's a lot left, a lot of football left to play. And once again, for UCF, I saw a lot of fans cheering when they saw the USF loss, but I think they don't realize that loss.